This is our livelihood. If we can't pass that test, our life can be a mess. Bars. What it is, what it was, what it is, what it does. It's your boy Lane Trucker, back with another. Why you sleeping on us? Why you sleeping on us? No cap, we gon' have to make them believe us. Yeah, yeah. This video is about one thing I hate about being an own operator. I've learned to adapt to it, adjust whatever word you want to use to, but I absolutely hate dislike it, don't appreciate it, and all that good stuff. But before I get into that, let me mention a few things before I forget, because I forget stuff all the time. I actually write it down. No kidding, I write down some things because I just forget. It is what it is. I'd like to say thank you, thank you to all my subs. I will be giving away one of my shirts, Lean Trucker shirts for those of you who care. Help me get to a thousand, subscribe, share comment hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos you can choose it in any color right so the shirt any color and the the logo the name is any color all right thank you and one more thing um y'all will be doing a roll call you know to my latest subscribers on the bottom of the screen your names will be going will be going across there just a recognition and a, and a uh like i said appreciation thank you uh, also, anybody in the DFW area that's interested in riding bikes, bicycles, not motorcycles, contact me. My, my contact uh, information is down in the description. Contact me. I'm trying to start some uh, bicycle thing where we can all ride together, have, have some fun, stay fit, or get in shape, whatever our goals is, whatever we're trying to do. All right, so I just want to jump right into it. I see... Um, I'm, I worked out this morning, if I didn't send this video, I think I did. Uh, talk about that a little bit, and I will address that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show clips through this uh, workout as I talk about what I hate about being an own operator. And it is simply the um, inconsistency. The, the inconsistency is a, it's a nightmare. Well, it can be, it depends on um, your situation, you know, that's why it's very important to live below your means. One thing that, um, that's one of the advices that I got early, early on, and that's one thing I want to pass on to you guys is um, living below your means. And, and what that looks like is if you happen to have a house or whatever you're living on as you, when you're a company, when you're working for a company, you try to stay on that same financial schedule once you become an own operator, don't get blinded by the fact that you're thinking, well, I got a raise, so to speak, you know, <laughs> like a company got mentality, because now you got own operator problems. You know, you got uh, expenses. It, it depends on, uh, well, you're going to have expenses regardless, but depend on what lane you end up going to. Uh, as far as like if you get your own authority, your insurance is going to be pretty high. Um, yeah, so you got these different expenses, but going back to the the um, inconsistency part, it plays such a major role. You know, like I'm gonna use the company company example. If you was making, let's say, take home six hundred dollars a week, this week and next week you made eight fifty. You know, take home and then the week after that it was a thousand, and then it drops down to four hundred. And, and, and you just, it was all dependent on, you know, weather related or just any of those kind of things. It's, it's very difficult to do things that, that are necessary, like save money, um, create a budget. As far as, yeah, saving money as far as creating a budget. You know, these things can be done. This is not a scare tactic. That's not even who I am. But I do want to talk about that part because, like I said, that's, it's, um, it's very, very, very difficult to deal with, especially when you're just starting out. So, yeah, you, you, you're trying to create a budget and saying, okay, this is how much money I'm going to make, when the truth is you don't really know. You're just projecting because you also don't know if you're going to have a breakdown in this time. 
you know, um, that can derail everything. You know, it's like you can have a whole week off, depending on what it is and what day you get to the shop, etc. cetera, where you're not even making any money. Now your whole budget is wrecked. So that's one of the main things. And, and, um, and then it, it plays into everything else. Like, well, want to buy a house, you know, want to buy a, a car, whatever you want to buy. And now you're in that same situation mentally where you're saying, well, yeah, I can afford it if I'm making eight fifty or that thousand dollars. <laughs> But if I'm making that four or that six fifty, but now we got a problem. You know, now we're gonna to have to let the car go back. You know, repo or can't afford to pay the bills, and and that's why I'm saying this is um, it's one thing I hate. And you know, there's there's a another thing that I could mention, but that's gonna to be too long for this video. I can make another video for it. But um, yeah, I mean, even just buying another work truck, you you contemplate all those kind of things the budget the inconsistency that leads to all the other issues but yeah that's that's my thing i want to knock it out stay tuned for the rest of the video we're going to talk about um why i'm showing workout clips which i can just throw in here i just i just throw it in here now i'm trying to be an inspiration and motivation to somebody you know and trying to take away excuses for myself and hopefully somebody else could be willing um, to try to take away excuses from themselves and change their life around, you know, for the better. But yeah, I get more into it. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, um, like, share, comment down below. Anything you want to see, anything along those lines. Thank you. Mama, y'all, I forgot this. I don't know how I forgot because this is one of the biggest things that I hate as far as been operating the inconsistency is vacation trying to take a vacation can be very problematic because of the inconsistency I just spoke of on top of the fact of you have this window right so in most of our industries these industries as truck drivers as you know we have peak times and we have obviously not so peak times dead times aka slow times so you want to take these vacations during the slow time guess what the problem with that is if you don't have the proper money saved, well, now you're missing a week. You're not getting paid for it. And then you can't just come back and make up for it because the work is not there. Yes, I don't know how I forgot that. Now, get back to it. Look at here. Except for our center. Yeah, we're seeing there. I need to get a top. I'm going to buy me a top to cover up my food because uh, I'm going to have to clean all that mess that kind of splatters and all that good stuff but anyway yeah as you can see warming up my food it is early it is like uh early for me i don't like to eat uh too early because it makes it a hard time uh at night time not to eat too much let me rephrase that i don't like to eat too early because i eat more more food throughout the day it makes sense <laughs> oh it makes sense well, i know talk yourself hopefully it makes sense so yeah, um, but today, you know, the, the other side of working out in the mornings feels great. It feels good, but I get hungry early. I'm gonna manage it though. I'll show y'all what I'm gonna eat today. I'm gonna manage. Yeah, I'm going to try to get back to uh, working out early in the mornings. When I say early, it's just early for me. It's, it gets kind of difficult. Um, that's my favorite time to work out, by the way. But what I mean is difficult, it just um, depends on my schedule. If, I, if I'm staying like local, local, it depends what you guys call locals. But if I'm staying local, local, like within the actual city, the DFW area, then I can get up and work out before, which is like I said, it's my favorite time. It's actually when I have the most energy. Um, you know, you, it just depends on you guys. Uh, some people are uh, night work, people who love to work out at night. I just happen to be the one that prefers to work out in the day. I feel accomplished. I feel like I've already accomplished that um, that mission for the day. And the biggest benefit of it is that when you get off, or in my case, when I get off, I'm going to do other things that I need to do, which I will be doing today. Now, here we go. It's that first meal. Yeah, so that's, as you see, baked potato, but I guess you can call it stuffed baked potato because it has egg whites in here, some meat, and some cheese yeah i was on uh another youtuber dirty broke i was on his live 
uh, about a week or so ago. Shout out to Dirty Bro. I like that guy. He talks about uh, just to, you know, not even trying to promote his channel, but I'm going to promote his channel. Um, he talks about different things like uh, he works local. So, he, you know, he try to give um, help guys become local drivers. He talks about health insurance. You know, the things that matters. It also matters is just not the typical trucking, you know. Um, but the point is, while I was on the show, he had a guest, uh, another guy on named Chris, who actually finished start working for, uh, not working for him, I'm sorry, working with him. And Chris was mentioning that he had a job uh, offer. He went to go do a, a physical, and they denied him because of, uh, you know what? I don't want to put words in his mouth. You have to go back and try to find that live, I guess. But it was a health issue that um, not not the job he got. It was a previous job. It was a health issue. He couldn't start. They would not hire him. And that's why. That's why I created this channel. That's one of the reasons why I created it. I wanted to help, help people with the trucking industry, but also with the health side. Because that right there, that's a real thing that I, I keep like... I think a lot of us as drivers are missing is that this is our livelihood. If we can't pass that test, our life can be a mess. Bars. <laughs> and all seriousness though, for real though, if you don't pass that test, you know, you got we got a problem out here. You know, your career um, could be put on hold. I'm gonna say this again. I think I said in one of my other videos, my first local job, there was a guy that, that we used to work together and I saw where he was out of uh, out of trucking for two to three years because of health reasons. He's finally got back in, thankfully, thankfully, thank God for that, um, earlier this year. But yeah, guys, it's a real serious issue. Take your health serious, okay? Now on to meal two. Behind me, boy, that light, let me, let me do this. Spike trail. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this and uh i guess i'm gonna wrap the video up here not to make it too long i'm gonna try to get some clips i've never been to this trail so i'm trying to get some clips of this one but if not keep it in mind stay on the grind one day at a time Salute.